Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with another installment of Cooking with Grass-Fed Beef. Here we have some delicious beef shanks from Steve Normington, and I'm going to braise them in an onion broth, a three onion broth to be exact. So we're going to slice up these onions. Now one tip here, we're going to cut them this way, with the grain, not against the grain. Now what am I talking about? Let me show you. If you cut off the top and bottom of an onion and peel it, if you cut across, see how those lines on the onion? If you cut across this way, like most people slice onions, that's called against the grain. If you slice it this direction, the same directions as those lines are going, the onion will actually stay together a little better when you cook it for a really long time. So I'm gonna slice those with the grain. So I got three big onions, a white, a yellow, and a red. There's our beautiful Steve Normington beef shank. Look at those. And by the way, you see the marrow in those bones? That's the best part. So these are about inch and a half, two inches thick. You want to season them very well, salt and pepper, both sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to brown them really well in some just a little bit of vegetable oil. On high heat, we want to get a beautiful sear. Now, depending on the size of your pan, do this in batches. Do not force that last one in and just you know, smoosh it in there and make it fit like I did. So do as I say, not as I do. Use a big enough pan or do it in batches. But I was stubborn and I decided to just, you know, force my will upon the meat. And I browned them on both sides. I removed them to a stock pot because what we have to do here is cook this for a really long time, very slowly with liquid. That's the secret to a beef shank that is tender and delicious. In the pan drippings, I'm going to saute and brown well my three onions with a big pinch of salt. And that's going to take about 10 minutes. I want to get them really nice and, you know, soft and sweet and caramelized. I'm going to add some garlic, some diced celery and carrots, some fresh rosemary, bay leaf, black pepper. I'm also going to add a nice bouquet garni, which is just a tied up bundle of thyme stems. All right, after about 10-15 minutes, my onions were nicely browned. I'm going to add two cups of beef broth. And this is basically going to be the cooking liquid for my shanks. Now I want to make sure I deglaze the bottom, get off all that brown goodness. This is almost beef kind of braised in like a French onion soup mixture, which is why it's so delicious. Pour over the onion broth mixture, and this is going to go on the lowest heat you have for about three to four hours until fork tender. Now I'm talking low. You just want to barely, barely simmer. Beef shanks, whether they're grass-fed or not, have tons of connective tissue that has to break down. So over this very low flame, with just that little bit of broth, these are going to slowly soften and sweeten and just get amazingly succulent. And after three and a half hours, for me, it's going to be between three and four, like I said, this is what you're going to have. Meat falling off the bone. Speaking of bones, see that beautiful marrow? I don't want that to disintegrate in my stock as I reduce this. So take out the beef bones. There should be one per shank, otherwise something fishy is going on. After I take the marrow bones out, I'm going to turn up the heat to medium-high. Perfect opportunity to skim off any fat that pools up at the top. And as soon as that reduces down a little, you're ready to serve. I'm serving this on beautiful polenta. This goes on pasta, mashed potato, rice, of course anything you want. But polenta is really nice. You see I reduced that stock. It's not a gravy, but it thickened up a little bit. I probably boiled that for maybe 10 minutes. There's my beautiful beef bones. If your marrow bones have cooled too much, you can just nuke them for a minute in the microwave just to warm them up. That's like beef butter. There's nothing like marrow. I just threw a little bit of fresh chive on there. You can mix that marrow into the broth, eat it with the meat. A lot of people like to spread that marrow on toast that they would eat with this. Also amazing. Beef shank is kind of a two for one. You get that beautiful, tender, just succulent meat, and you get that marrow bone just so, so good. If you like French onion soup, you're going to love this dish. In fact, I got this idea from reading a recipe where beef shanks were cooked in a packaged onion soup mix. The horror. I said, hey, that sounds pretty good, except why don't I make a real French onion soup base? So that's the inspiration for this dish. All the ingredients are on the site, so go check it out. And as always, enjoy.